Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, I hear sending kids off to college is one of the hardest things a parent has to do. I'll find out this fall when my only son does it. Well, whether you're staying in state or just a short drive away is one thing, but what if your child heads overseas? A new country, new language, new culture? In the world of professional sports, traveling overseas is sometimes necessary. Carolina Impact's Jason Turzas introduces us to a couple of Charlotte checkers who are a long way from home. They're enjoying the coolest game on earth with one of the hottest starts in franchise history. Of the 31 teams in the American Hockey League, the Charlotte Checkers have the best overall record by far, making a habit this season of winning close games. It's a confidence thing, you know, with those tight games, you win a few early on, then you feel very confident, and you know that if you do the right things, you're gonna end up winning the game. But like most head coaches, Mike Vellucci is never satisfied and always looking for more. Had a good practice yesterday, we competed. Today is way too loose. With 25 years of coaching and management experience, Vellucci knows what it takes to develop young players, compete, and ultimately win. Entering the zone, you have to go down with speed with them. Potsy's coming in the middle, you gotta time it. That's my job, is to get these guys to the next level as fast as I possibly can. Uh, and point them in the right direction and help them get there. Bring up your intensity, work harder, do everything an extra 110 so then when you get you in the lineup, you're ready to go. Yep. Vellucci works double duty, not only serving as head coach of the Checkers, but also as assistant general manager with their parent club, the Carolina Hurricanes in Raleigh. So he has a big say as to which players get the coveted call to move up to the National Hockey League. I'm seeing them on the bench, I'm seeing them in practice, I'm, I'm all around them all the time. I know whose attitude's good, who's working hard. Carolina Hurricanes are proud to select from the Czech Republic, Martin Nietzschev. In 2017, the Hurricanes used their first round draft selection on Martin Nietzschev. He's been working on developing his game with the Checkers. He's big, he's fast, he's getting stronger, and he's learning the game. This season was my goal to, to play the season in the NHL. Here come the Hurricanes. Near off wing is Fogel right in. Across. They score! Martin Natchez has his first goal in the National Hockey League. Natchez did get the call earlier this season, playing several games with the Hurricanes and scoring his first career NHL goal. He also represented the Czech Republic in the World Junior Championships. But he's back with the Checkers for now. Well, I think it's uh, very important for Marty to be with us right now here in Charlotte. It's a great opportunity for him here to get accustomed to North America. Uh, the style of hockey, the style of living, what he can do on and off the ice. Number 18, Yanni Kwokinen has been outstanding for Finland in this game. Yanni Kwokinen was Carolina's second round draft pick in 2016. The native of Finland is representing the Checkers at this season's American Hockey League All-Star Game. It's a big honor for me, yeah. Together, Kwokinen and Nietzsche are among the Checkers' leaders in goals and assists this season. The guys also have a lot of things in common. Both were high draft picks, both are from Europe, and both came to America as teenagers. We like to spend time with each other. We're good friends uh, all of the ice and on the ice. It's certainly not easy leaving family and friends behind, even more so when traveling overseas. But that's what these now 20-year-olds have done. Life there is just totally different. Different food, different preparation. You're away from your family. It's pretty hard for a just turn 18 to live here by, by myself. It's a tough transition for any young person. You have to start speaking English. It's a big, big uh, change, not only hockey-wise, but uh, also in your life, to just move here to play hockey and uh, leave all the family and friends back there in Finland. Learning a new culture and language can be a bit intimidating, and it can certainly make ordering food a bit of an adventure. Uh, actually, can I have some avocado, please? Hey, is it avocado or avocado? Like, I, I'm not sure. Avocado. Avo avocado. I think it's avocado. I'm using avocado. I think it's avocado. But the guys are rolling with it as best they can. It looks like, you know, like English. Avocado. Avocado. Of course, it, it was a little bit different with the English and everything. My, my English wasn't, wasn't bad, so it wasn't a big problem, but, you know, we're still learning. And that's where Coach Vellucci comes back yard. in. Come on, Murray, quick, 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 quick. There you go, that's it, that's it. Get to the net. He's not just their coach. Go in many ways, okay, he's a father figure. Net. It's communication. It's communication on everything, not just hockey, about everyday life. And, and, and what I mean by that, I have to sit them down. I don't always just talk about hockey with them. Early on, when they first come over, I talk to them a lot about how's your apartment, are you getting enough sleep? Are you eating enough? 
Uh, just communicating with them, know that I care about them as a person, not just a hockey player. When you have a team loaded with young prospects, sprinkling in a few veterans is key. It's huge because those veterans have gone through almost everything. That's why Volucci relies on guys like 33-year-old Zach Stortini. Just look at the guy. He looks like a hockey player. And through a 14-year professional career, he's played just about everywhere. Iowa, Milwaukee, Hamilton, Edmonton, Nashville, back to Milwaukee, back to Hamilton, Norfolk. Lehigh Valley, Binghamton, San Jose, now Charlotte. He was kind of like teacher for me and he was telling me how it, how it is to play in the NHL and of course it's nice to have guys like that in the locker room, especially here. I'm actually talking to him pretty much every day and uh, I'm trying to learn like, uh, yeah, it's a lot, lot of uh, life experience so uh, I'm trying to take something from, from him and uh, yeah, trying to get smarter too. Thanks to veteran leadership, good young talent, and a coach orchestrating it all, the Checkers are hoping this magical season lasts deep into the spring with a run at the Calder Cup Championship. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting. As a mama, it's tough to see those boys so far from home. Thanks so much, Jason. Well, here's some interesting information about where players in the National Hockey League come from. 46% are from Canada, no surprise. 26% are Americans, 10% are from Sweden, 4% from Russia, 4% from the Czech Republic, and another 4% from Finland. And there are 10 more countries on the list which make up the rest of the NHL. Well, that's all we have time for this evening. 